is Henry Kiara. I'm a veterinary epidemiologist. I work in the animal and human health program here in Europe. I guess my uh, involvement with gender issues, I was a late convert, let me say. Initially, I thought it's one of these donor imposed issues. And so what you do is, because we are not convinced from a, a, from a biological background, so social science wasn't really very, I wasn't much aware of it. So what we do is, we, because we know people ask whether we doing gender stuff, so just make sure we list the number of uh, women who are participating so that we can say, yeah, we, we are doing gender work. But uh, in, and in fact, I wasn't alone. One of my colleagues he was asked uh, whether they are involved in gender. He said, yeah, three of our staff are women. <laughs> and so, I mean, it was widespread for many of us biologists. But what really made me change that attitude was we did a study. We had a student doing a study to understand the factors that influence the adoption of the vaccine against East Coast fever. We did this in uh, pastoral systems in, in Narok and in Wasengishu. What the, the vaccine has many benefits to farmers. It reduces deaths of calves. You spend less money on treatments and control of the disease. So you do expect farmers will be breaking doors to get a vaccine. But to my shock was that when he analyzed the attitudes of the vaccine between men and women, the women were not as keen as the men. And the reason was the, vaccine, the major effect of the vaccine is to reduce deaths of calves. So for men, that's a huge benefit because there are more calves. And, but to the women, more calves meant more work. So they were, not, they were not as enthusiastic. They didn't, of course, refuse it, but they were not as enthusiastic. And obviously, the reason why women were not as enthusiastic is because although there was more labor for them, they were not benefiting as much from the benefits of this vaccine. You know, more milk, more animals, all those are controlled by men, and they do not necessarily uh, benefit the women as much as, even though they have more work for taking care of the calves, cleaning and feeding them, and, and all that goes with taking care of calves. That was my turning point. I realized, actually, gender is not like some stuff out there, but it has a huge impact on the kind of work we do. Um, use of veterinary products, the adoption, the impact of these things. That's when I got convinced it's not really donor, it's part and parcel of what we do as biologists. In whatever we do, we have to be more deliberate in targeting who the message is going to, who are we targeting with the products that we're developing, the kind of messaging, because there is a, there is a big difference between genders, how they respond to those issues.